What's up, Sim Racers? Larry TJR Sim. So checking out the 27, the DLC pack that just hit the other day. The uh, what was the Samsung QLED uh, pack? So trying to get you in on that 4K action, man, on the Xbox One X. Hey, if you got an Xbox One X, hit me up. Tell me how you like it. I uh, don't have uh, consoles anymore, but I did see that the Xbox One X uh, does support 1440p which intrigues me although it would be cropped like here on my monitor instead of having this black space filled which uh, would annoy me <laughs> but uh i don't know i, I kind of like uh consoles for shooters uh, more than i do driving games driving games sim uh, pc is the way to go for sure but uh not necessarily for forza i don't think it really matters for forza uh or or the uh any of the Forza series actually doesn't really matter, uh, but I am glad it's on PC. That way I can play with it on PC and uh, go from there. But anyway, let's check out this Alfa Romero 2017 model. Let's take it out on the track. I'm just gonna do a, cu a couple, couple cars. We'll look at that and we'll look at the Fiat. And let's keep it on the same track. Let's go to. Let me see, where are we going to go? We will go to maybe Lime Rock. All right, so is it ready? Let's go. Got my red leathers on, red car. It's actually a really good looking car. Looks pretty. I forgot to look how much horsepower that had in it though. I'll have to go back and check that when we finish the race. But we'll do three laps around Lime Rock. I am on the pro setting. I do like the, um, See the glitching on the screen there? I'm popping in the background. A little bit slow down in your character and stuff. Now there's a huge bunch of uh, updates on this game, but uh, they didn't seem to all take. And I am having some glitching errors there. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm running on Pro. I do like, um, let's see, I'll show you assist real quick too. Everything's off, ABS on, because all cars have ABS nowadays. So this is freaking 2017, this one, actually has stability control on I'm pretty sure drive tar difficulty we'll go pro I do like uh, what is it unreal is oh, unbeatable uh, unbeatable is pretty cool too uh, but you gotta definitely run some more laps to make it worthwhile anyway let's run with the stability off although I'm pretty sure this car has it on uh, normally I think it's actually like a mandated government thing to have like certain year cars have all have to come with ABS and airbags and all that jazz. Stability control, backup cameras. Anyway, so can't tell yet how it handles. Too much traffic. Definitely wants to oversteer a little bit. And that guy's on me. I like how those gauges fire up at me. I can see them pretty well. Mirrors are hard to see when you're this close of a cockpit, though. But, but if you haven't seen all the uh, amount of updates it did, mainly for PC, go check out my blog, tjrsim.com. I list it all out there. oversteer issue and in that throttle plus I had to try to keep from hitting that guy it actually moves pretty quick though I don't know what that converts kilometers per hour to miles per hour I can't do that math that quick in my head oh hello I got it up there on the side <laughs> in mile, miles per hour Blonde moment, even though I'm not a blonde. 
105, yeah, that's, that's moving on pretty good. Catching a freaking Mustang GT350. R, which the 350 and 350R is the same car, except for suspension. So it pushes a little bit. Definitely has some some push, mid corner push. Oversteer a little bit. Definitely want to spend some time tuning on this one if you could. Initial turn in actually sucks. Followed by some oversteer as soon as you try to catch up for your pushing of your front end and delaying your throttle uh, you're introduced with a massive oversteer effect unless you're in a higher gear like I am right there and it don't take much to get it loose definitely not your Mazda Miata 2016 Roadster type car. Uh, that one's definitely a lot more stable. So yeah, this car is basically a, a combination of bad turn in and uh, oversteer. So yeah, you're gonna fight it turning in, and then you're gonna try to catch up for your slow turn in and uh, get on the throttle a little too aggressively, and then you're gonna be fighting oversteer. So that one definitely requires some patience and. Uh, some tuning. So you're probably going to want to add some suspension tuning to that car. Of course, everything's homologated or homoed, and uh, so yeah, not probably not going to be your car to pick in a homologated race. I uh, wouldn't probably pick this one. It's a little bit uh, more of a pain pain in the butt to keep on the road. Look at this VIP stuff bonus works. Thanks for everybody uh, complaining about VIP not being what it used to be. Because now they match your earnings. Boom, baby. That's the way we do it now. Ooh, 300,000, 400,000. Bam. So, this is a car collecting game. If you run across a car that's free, you should get the free car. It just ranks you up. This is rarity. So yeah, get them. Even like this one, I don't want Ford number twenty-two Ford Joey NASCAR. I don't like NASCAR. I mean, the cars look cool, but I'm not a huge fan of it. But I'm gonna get it for free. All right, let's check out. See, that was that one. Let's go to the Fiat, I believe. That's the other one that's pretty comparable. To this one, yep, the Fiat Spider Abrath, 124 Spider Abrath. What horsepower is this? 242 and 320. What was the other one? It was. Come on. Wow, that's a lot of horsepower. 543. No wonder. Oh, so you do have a, a restrictions of 650 horsepower. Tire width 325, 325, uh, 315, 325. So you could add a little bit more uh, tire width to uh, help with the rear end. And you could go up to 650 horsepower, it looks like. But you're only one click away to get there. So you know it comes homologated pretty much maxed out to where you where it needs to be. Uh, but you may be able to take some things off to get a little better. But that explains why it was so loose on the rear end, though. I, I would imagine in real life this car is not quite as oversteery as that, you know, in the... I don't know, maybe it is. Who knows? If you have one, chime in. Alright, so the Abrath 242. This is kind of more your Miata category right here. So, let's do it. Single player, free play. And again, we will go to Lime Rock. And hey, got a red suit on. Matches the red on my car. Nice. And if you want to know, I am using the 
Fanatic or Fanatic Club Sport V2, Fanatic Club Sport V3 pedals, uh, the shifter 1.5 version, handbrake. Uh, of course, I'm just going to be using the paddles for this situation just to keep it on the same playing field. I thought it would be the, maybe a different uh, tone of atmosphere instead of the same cloudiness, but it seems to be totally random. Sometimes you'll come here and it's sunny and sometimes it's cloudy. And so, yeah, whatever. I like the convertible though. Again, first place again. Nice. A little bit slower off the line than, <laughs> than the uh, other one. Okay. Not too bad. It's got good mid corner grip. Turning is actually pretty good, but oversteer is. Little too much oversteer. I mean, you, you barely got a. Of course, you know, steady miles an hour through that tight corner. Realistically, you might have that much uh, oversteer. Charges that hill really good, though. Yeah, you got it. You can't go full throttle right off the bat. You got to. You got to uh, tame. Your right foot a little bit. Gotta be gentle with it. What up, dog? Brakes are good. Such a light car, though. They should be. It holds the line really well. I like that. I like this car. It's not too bad. Uh... Except for the oversteer. I think we can get some of this oversteer out by stiffening the front end a little bit. Uh, and then uh, getting it to push a little bit more. And softening up the rear end a little bit and getting it to stick. With the sway bars. I think that's about all you got to mess with with the homologated mode with these cars. And of course, lower the tire pressures. A little bit on the rear. Front seems to be pretty good as far as tire pressure goes. It's not like you got temps up here to show you what your tire temps are uh, in a race to see if you're at optimal between the edge, the middle, and the and the inner. Oh yeah, it's a drifting machine here. Leaving smoke? Oh, yeah. I can hear a supercharger on there. Yep. Oh, turbocharger. One of those. Glitching out there on the side of the map. Oh, now I will say some. I didn't see in the updates for all the updates that they fixed the uh, mouse sensitivity. It did fix some graphical issues and stuff, supposedly. The stands are not disappearing now on you. Stuff like that. Uh, at like Indianapolis. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, I definitely went too slow down that hill. Could have just kept it going, but I was talking. But, um, yeah, so they fixed some graphical issues. Of course, dropped this new car pack, you know, a day or a day later after that. Man, turnout is really good. You can, you're able to hold the line and then feed the gas on and uh, basically get the car turning with some oversteer. But it's a fine line to dance uh, between that oversteer and holding the line. Anyway, uh, what I was saying about the, uh, the mouse... I've noticed that sometimes you don't have any mouse. Uh, you can't adjust anything in the menus with your mouse, which makes it a pain in the ass to use because it doesn't recognize my wheel uh, as far as uh, using like the left and right bumpers to search things with the wheel. So you have to kind of use the keyboard. So what I've noticed is when you boot up the game, 
if you click with your mouse at first, more than likely it works all the time using your mouse. Uh, but your in the menus at least, it doesn't really recognize the wheel as far as any, any as a controller. Of course, obviously in the game it does, but um, not in the menu system. But it does recognize, of course, the keyboard and mouse as that. But if you click in the game to start the game in the very beginning with your uh, wheel, then a lot of times, 9 out of 10 times, or 8 out of 10 times, I don't know, um, you have no mouse support. So, a little bit of a bug, but it seems to work better if you start off with your mouse. Just a little tip, a little something I've noticed. Let me know if you got any tricks to making things happen a little better. Yeah, this car's actually pretty good. It's not quite as stable as the Miata, uh, as far as just sheer traction and grip going around in corners. But uh feels really nice, not bad. I think if you can lower the suspension a little bit and uh get the back end a little bit under control, it'd be uh be pretty fast ride. So anyway, I don't want this video to carry on too long. I just you know cover those two classes. Two uh two cars, different classes obviously. But the Fiat Spider being a little bit slower of the two, a little easier to handle. And that's it. Until next time, we'll see you next time. Have fun. Leave some comments on which ones you like. If you liked any of them or you hated them, I don't know. Let me know. And uh, we'll see you on the track. I was hoping a picture would come up here before I exit off. Come on, baby. There we go. First place, TJR Sim. All right, I'm out. See you.